That's a joke. <laughs> So pretty guys, so pretty, so pretty, so beautiful, you know. <laughs> anyway, hi guys, and thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, my love. And if you're new, it's so good to have you here. Like, I think you should stay, just watch this video, and afterwards, I think you should click the subscribe button. Like, watch it go from red to gray. What watch, watch that transition. I really think you know you need to commit to something i urge you to commit to something like when you're bouncing around bouncing off of like bouncing up and down people's channels and then i'll subscribe you like be part of something way bigger oh she'll be on we're part of something way bigger like be part of the channel like just just be a part of i just know you're okay <laughs> subscribe just subscribe okay as you can tell by the title of this video i will be reviewing a fragrance and so I've only done only one other video like this. And um, I think you guys really enjoyed it because the other perfume that I reviewed has a lot of views. In actual fact, I think it's one of my most viewed, like highest view, like it's one of the videos. It's the video that has the high, largest amount of views. <sighs> Guys, if I'm being very honest, this is the fourth time I'm trying to record this. My English is not here. I'm exhausted. I've had a week from the inner depths of hell. So just please, like, just be nice to me. Just try and understand what I'm saying. Okay, so I will be reviewing a perfume. The only other perfume that I've reviewed, I think you guys liked it because the only other video I've done where I've reviewed a perfume, I think you guys liked it because it has a high number of views, right? So, just a few disclaimers before I get into this video. Um, this is the first high-end perfume that I've ever bought myself. And I think it's it's not high-end because perfumes can get <laughs> can get real deep. But it's the first, like, sort of over a grand. It's the first perfume over a grand that I've bought for myself. Usually, I buy myself <laughs> from Zara. Zara is really good with fragrances guys. If you want me to review Zara fragrances, let me know. So the only perfumes that I bought myself are from Zara. I usually get my fragrances as gifts from my mom and my aunts. So I've got a very small perfume collection. I think a total of about high end, maybe three or four. And then, yeah, including this one, four including this one, and then two Zara ones. So scent wise, <laughs> I'm doing very bad. <laughs> But I am trying to build a collection. I am trying to do that. So if you guys watched my vlog, I went out and got a fragrance and that will be the fragrance that I will be reviewing today. So this is the Michael Kors. The Michael Kors. This is the Michael Kors Sparkling Blush um, Eau de Parfume Spray. Eau de Parfume. Eau de Parfume Spray. So this is how she is. And yeah, okay, we'll get into the packaging later. I will be using a set criteria to review this fragrance for you guys. So first, I'm gonna be very, I'll, I'll basically be reviewing it ne, based on things that I would care about if I were to buy a perfume. So if there's any other thing you wanna know, comment down below, I'll answer. So basically, I'll be reviewing it based on what sort of scent is it, right? So uh, the different notes that are inside, um, I'll also be reviewing it in terms of price. So seeing on the scale of one to crazy, where is it? Number three, wearability slash durability. Basically, I mean, how long does the scent last? I was looking for a word that says longer be longevity, ne? <laughs> Longability, ki longevity. Um, number four will be which seasons would it be best to rock? this perfume and finally the packaging okay so let's get right in to it okay so number one is okay so basically you guys all know this is the michael course sparkling blush perfume okay so it's an order perfume and not an order toilet toilet <laughs> it's a joke but you guys get what i mean right so because this was the first perfume that i bought for myself like high end high-end perfume that I bought for myself it was really important for me to find something that suits my personality and that suits my character like too often we just be by like oh chummy what do you have on oh my gosh it's lovely your book chummy got even like 
a perfume needs to speak to you it needs to speak to your character it needs to speak to also what you do like it you know you can't be wearing a certain perfume in the office and then it's strong or people have a headache they can't concentrate like all of that is very important so what i did is i actually took a fragrance test right and i got this test from i will make sure i link it below it's called perfume quiz yeah it's the per it's fragrancex.com and you basically take the perfume quiz and it helps you find the perfect scent for your taste so basically it asks you questions and you'll find that many of the questions about um the different scents that you like number one number two um your personality so like are you a city girl are you uh you know um outside um adventure type of girl like all that is important for your scent and so after taking that test the test said basically that i'm suited by more floral and um so by more floral scents yeah floral sweet scents that is my personality because you know it's sweet but also i think it makes so much sense because my mom is lazy right so she's lazy for she she hates going to buy scents for herself so i'm always like oh my gosh let's try something new let's try something new and every time i would come back with a perfume for her she'd hate it right but which worked to my advantage because when she hates it she gives it to me uh -huh. so it would work but the thing is she hated it because little did i realize Hore guys uh, these things go with like who you are like we're not the same person so we're not gonna like the same sense also we're at different ages like she's 50x i'm 20x so mm, it was a bad idea from the onset so basically i went in looking for a floral scent right so basically i'm about to read for you a description of it um uh, basically the reviews that it has is four and a half out of five which is pretty good so basically um the elegant scent um has a bit of pink pepper um rose petals vivid vanilla and sultry sandalwood and those are all my scents darling like as you can see it's infused with a lot of like floral things and yeah that's basically who i am sandalwood haki easy but yes vanilla i love the smell of vanilla so i definitely love sweet scents but also not too sweet that you get a headache sweet which is also like you know balanced with a bit of floral number two is the price right so the price of this perfume is okay so i got a 50 mils i'm gonna open it up i got a 50 mils I don't think it's that bad for a 50 mils so basically if 50 mils yabo competes with like your tom ford i don't know which tom ford something orchid that 30 mils so i guess it's affordable so it's a high-end affordable i don't know if you get me so like i was stuck between this one and the gucci bloom but with the gucci bloom i couldn't afford the 50 mils i could only afford the 30 mils but with this one i could afford the 50 mils so that was quite exciting as you can see this is how the bottle looks this is how big it is wait guys this is the 100 mil oops this is the 100 mil and so for a 100 mil it competes with like it's actually very affordable so for the 100 mil i paid 1890 for 100 mils i think that's good like you're looking at a chanel perfume right so chanel um madame what mademoiselle is about 2000 rand for the entry level one for the new one do you get me so this competes like the price is very competitive it's good for the 100 mil so it comes in different prices the 30 mil is 1095 right the 50 mil is um 1.5 and then the 100 mil is 1890 and that's the one that i got so yeah i'd say like we can do it we can do it if we save if we think properly we can like we can definitely do it like it's not hasi it's not crazy it's not do you get me like it's doable it's doable okay so the next criteria is wearability this is where things get tough for me okay this is where i get a bit saddened Ooh. Ooh, so it's it's sweet 
I like it. Ooh, it smells good actually. Ooh, I just wasted that, sweetie. It smells good. So wearability, I'd say, um, okay, so I've only worn this perfume out twice since we're in COVID. There is no way I'm going to wear an expensive perfume for nothing. I've only worn it twice, right? And I'll definitely say you can smell it in the morning. In the evening when you come home, you can't smell it anymore. And that's on period, right? But also, a scent is not great if you can smell it. People are supposed to smell you. If you can smell it, it's not, it's not saying anything. And so, I don't know how to feel about that. But also, oof, yeah, you could get a good, a good nine hour wear, where it's still popping. Whenever you pass your hand, you can smell it a good nine hours. After that, when you get into bed, sweetie, so nuga, e shower gel. But oh, it's beautiful, guys. It's a beautiful feminine sweet scent. Like, I, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so the next criteria is which season could you best rock it? Because it's very sweet, I'd say summer, summer, spring, spring, summer. And this is a scent that you could rock. Actually, I'm just trying to think where you could be. It's not something for the office. You can't wear this to the office. It's not great. It's not grand. I think you could wear it on a date. I think you could wear it on a date. Not on a night out. Definitely not a night out, but a date. Ooh, on a date. You could wear it on a date. You could wear it on, it's very sweet. It's very feminine. It's very, you know, <laughs> yes, I think date, date, done, date, okay. Um, season, so spring, summer, summer evening, you know? Yeah, summer nights, summer, spring evenings. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to check out the packaging. So as you can see, like other perfumes, it comes in a box. So the box is basically pink. Nothing exciting, a box, yet thing, you know, nothing fancy. Basically just the box with Michael Kors sparkling blush written on the outside. So nothing fancy, nothing too exciting is okay. This is the bottle. Guys, I don't know how to say this without sounding a basic. Like this is your, it's, it's a basic perfume. It's not something that you could decorate with a basic. Like it's very basic. It's very basic. It just comes in a glass bottle, right? So this is glass, which is a bit scary, but obviously many perfumes, 100% of perfumes come in glass with a gold lid which I think also gives it a bit of class, you know, and it's pink. So very feminine, very classy, but also basic, like basic, very basic. So yeah, guys, that's the scent. I really love it. It is, it's like a nane. I'm actually sitting myself for Kinsani and it's nighttime, like, but I'm gonna smell good for my friend. Yeah, guys, so that's my perfume out of 10. Would I say go get it? Yes, I would give it a seven out of 10. I would give this fragrance a 7 out of 10. I know there is more out there that I'm very sure of that there is more. Between this and my, so for example, I have this and I have my um, Lancome La Via Bell. Between them two, my, my La Via Bell is my fighter. Do you get me? So if I want to pick a fighter, now I'm going to war. I don't want a mess. I don't want caves. I definitely choose La Via Bell. But the issue with La Via Bell is everyone has Lancome La Via Bell. It's so boring. It's so boring. And so I needed a different fighter and that's why I went for this one. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I personally enjoy fragrance reviews and things like that. I enjoy that stuff. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is very soon. And yeah, so yeah, that's it from me, guys. This was a very short video, which I think is good because we're always sitting here for like seven hours. So I guess under 20 minutes is great. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.